Hi everyone. This time I will show you how to assemble Nevermore Micro V4. For this, you will need the following parts according to this list of materials. Apart from those parts, you will also need these printed parts. I have printed mine in ASA, but ABS is good too. I do not recommend to print them in PLA due to its low temperature resistance. You can find and download all the models from Nevermore's GitHub page, link will be in the description below. The first step is to open the fan and cut the bottom piece circular along the fan blades. Be careful when you do this not to cut through the wires. I also recommend to wear some eye protection when you cut the plastic, you can see why. You need to cut the crimps off to be able to feed the wires through the small holes at the bottom of the plenum. Once you manage to feed the wires through, it is time to stick the fan to the plenum, I used a double-sided tape which I believe is going to be good enough for this application. Now it is time to put two heat inserts into the bottom holes. Once that is done it is time to put the plenum together. The cover nicely slides in from the top.
now it is time to fit some magnets to the plenum and the cartridge. The magnets I use are 6x3. Make sure the magnet's polarity is correct so it hold both parts together. I didn't have to use any glue as it was quite a tight fit. Same needs to be done with the cartridge. Again, remember about correct polarity of the magnets. Now you can fill the cartridge with acid-free Nevermore printer carbon and close it by sliding in the cover. You can now put two heat inserts into the holes in the base element, it will allow us to screw the plenum to the base using M3 by 10 SHCS. It is done now. All you have left to do is to crimp both wires at the required length, fit them in the JST connector, plug it to your mainboard and configure it in Clipper. Enjoy!